Another variation, another way to get a drag is when your partner has grabbed your wrist. From up in here, I just come up against the thumb. Not, I'm not trying to use my arm. And I'm going to keep my elbow in tight. If he grabs my wrist, I bring my elbow in tight. And I'm going to bring it around to here. One little subtlety with this drag here is I'd rather not just go with my wrist far away from him. If I can bring my wrist in close, my drag will tend to be more successful. So if I can pull my wrist in here, close to my body, my elbow close to my body, I'll have much more favorable position and this is a much more powerful attack here than if I have my elbow out from my body and I try to initiate the drag farther out. Okay, his gripping power is probably going to be able to stop that. It's much more difficult if I straighten his arm out and go for the drag as opposed to if his arm is bent, this is much more difficult for me. So I want to keep my arm in as I drag through. An alternative is instead of to come up here, is to come to the side. And as Colby grabs my hand here, typically his thumb and his third finger are going to be closest together, but there's usually a little gap. Even if there's not, they aren't glued together, so there's a little break in the grip here. So I want to come through that way. And as I do, I don't come straight with the center of my wrist here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn sort of the, the blade of my wrist away. And across my body. Simultaneously, I'm going to drag up high and pull him through. Hold a little tighter. The harder the opponent uh, holds on to, the more you're going to have success pulling him forward. If your opponent, by the way, is, is very light on your wrist, this is going to be a very difficult technique. It's predicated, actually, on him having a good grip on you. And he's just not releasing quickly enough for you to initiate uh, the, the drag in a way that he could defend against it. So if your opponent's got a very light grip, this type of an attack is not going to work good because you're going to pull it away. He's going to be in position. Okay, this type of an attack will tend to work a little better for that. But if he's holding on pretty tight, I want to bring this back, and that's going to help launch him forward. I simultaneously move in. I'm here. Yep. Yep. Another method to get the drag is you can combine a head pop to get a drag. So, if I pop my opponent's head down as he's pulling up, I can come in. And one of the things that's really important to emphasize, I guess, at this point, and I'll mention that again in a few minutes, is that successful attacking against experienced wrestlers, people that are very competent and have a lot of experience and success, is, simply, is, is typically going to require you to be able to link or chain different setups together. Just like with an experienced boxer, you're probably not going to get a jab and then get your technique in. You may need a combination of techniques to find that opening. Similarly, with an experienced wrestler, typically you may need to chain some setups together in a way that's going to ultimately be successful in manipulating them because typically your first shot or two or your first setup or two may not be effective. And so this is simply an example of one possible link, although there are many others, and you'll develop that as you get comfortable with the setups individually, you'll kind of see after a while when you play with them how they'll work together. But for example, if I pop his head down here as if I'm going to attack in, as he's coming up, I can drag. When my opponent pops up, that gives me the opportunity to attack. Because when he's popping up, his weight's typically coming back more towards his heels. He's not in a favorable position to re-attack me until he reestablishes his base. 
So that gives me an excellent opportunity to come in, not only for an attack, for example, as a double or single or high crotch, but also for a drag. So I pop down here and I come in. I'm not waiting for his head to come up. I know his head's going to come up. If his head doesn't come up, he's going to be the type of opponent that I'm probably going to be able to do most anything on and be successful against. So it's important to link things together and to be expecting to follow up your initial setup with an attack and not evaluating whether or not your opponent or your partner has responded initially to that setup. Once you've decided to do the setup, you need to follow through with the attack that you were planning on. One additional drag I call a slap drag, and that's from this position here where my partner or opponent is posting straight armed against my shoulder with one arm. Now we went over a couple other potential possibilities to begin an attack from this position. But from the perspective of getting a drag, from the perspective of getting a drag, what I'm going to do is I can't just, I can't get this around very easily in this position. I've got to get it lower. Because remember, when I drag, usually I want to drag in here. Okay, my elbow's in, his wrist is lower, his wrist is higher. This is not a good position for me here. I've got to get it lower. I want him to slap it down. But if I just slap it down and he's pushing against me, he's got usually enough friction here so that that's not going to be successful. So I've got to retreat slightly. I've got to retreat just slightly so that there's less friction. Now I'm not making a circle. I'm bringing that arm down. As this arm comes down, I want to redirect it across me. I cannot bring that arm down, though, when there's a lot of push power between us because it ain't going nowhere. I've got to retreat slightly. And you'll notice, too, I lowered my level slightly as well. But you can't, if we're pushing against each other, this ain't going to work if I don't retreat some to get past the point where he's got a lot of pressure on me. And you just got to feel that. Now I can feel there's not a lot of contact. That's when the hand comes down. Slap, drop your level, same time, and drag. Come here. Pushing into each other. Oh. 